The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 27th of April, 1660. This morning Burr was absent again from on board, which I was troubled at, and spoke to Mr. Pierce, Purser, to speak to him of it, and it is my mind. This morning Pym, the tailor, spent in my cabin, putting a great many ribbons to a suit. After dinner in the afternoon came on board Sir Thomas Hatton and Sir Robert Malavera, going for flushing, but all the world know that they go where the rest of the many gentlemen go, that every day flock to the king at Breda. They supped here, and my lord treated them as he do the rest that go thither, with a great deal of civility. While we were at supper a packet came, wearing much news from several friends. The chief is that, that I had from Mr. Moore, viz. that he fears the cavaliers in the house will be so high that the others will be forced to leave the house and fall in with General Monk, and so offer things to the king so high on the Presbyterian account that he may refuse, and so they will endeavour some more mischief. But when I told my lord it, he shook his head and told me that the Presbyterians are deceived, for the general is certainly for the king's interest, and so they will not be able to prevail that way with him. After supper, the two knights went on board the Grantham, that is, to convey them to Flushing. I am informed that the exchequer is now so low that there is not twenty pounds there to give the messenger that brought the news of Lambert's being taken, which story is very strange that he should lose his reputation of being a man of courage now at one blow, for that he was not, a not able to fight one stroke, but desired of Colonel Inglesby several times for God's sake to let him escape. Late reading my letters, my mind being much troubled to think that, after all our hopes, we should ever have any cause to fear any more disappointments therein. To bed. This day I made even with Mr. Creed by sending him my bill, and he, me, my money, by Burr, whom I sent for it.